Okay, in this video we uh, wish to explore some of the options for modifying the roof geometry. Usually the, the mod, mod, mod roof tools, the modify roof geometry tools, are uh, used to add architectural features. Most of the architectural features are available from the icon menu, or the most usual ones are, but there are a few extras in the uh, pull down menu that uh, are rarely used, but um, still provide an automatic uh, single mouse click to change various EVE geometry. So um, let's, uh, let's have a look at the first one, uh, Atrium, for example. So um, most important with um, using the mod roof tools is to read the prompt. So the prompt at the bottom is saying to locate the uh, EVE. So, and notice that the point is flashing. It's uh, indicating to us that we're measuring from that corner. So the uh, distance along the eave will be 3 metres. Um, the atrium width, so it's 3500. And the atrium depth will be, say, 900. And we hit OK. And the atrium is installed. So you would use this to create atriums, or uh, indeed stepping around a, a chimney, or, or something of that nature. Um, the atrium is uh, also selected from the icon menu. Whether you select a command from the pull-down or the icons makes no difference. Um, let's say we do an atrium which has got a negative depth. Um, what happens then is that the software builds the atrium down the roof. So that's handy for, um, for building little step-out or veranda porch type things. Okay, what else do we have? Um, we also have uh, a hip to gable. So if we overlooked the gable end, when we constructed the geometry, we can do it now. So simply click on the ridge line and the gable is inserted. Now notice that the overhang here is the same as the overhang for the rest of the roof. Uh, if, if you had a different uh, overhang for whatever reason, uh, we want to take off, say, 200 millimetres, and we hit OK, and 200 millimetres comes off. So if you um, something which is a common mistake, make sure you, uh, you're looking for um, that sort of change. It's very easily fixed if once you've spot it. Um, if you don't spot it, it can be expensive. Okay, yeah, what else can we do here? Um, we can actually um, put in a Dutch gable. So if we put in a Dutch gable here, the Dutch gable function is very useful. It uh, provides a method of building Dutch gables essentially in one mouse click. The uh, dimension that's, uh, that's there is uh, pre automatically created by the software. It is precisely halfway between the eave line, which you can see flashing at us there, and the apex of the ridge. If the Dutch gable has an overhang, uh, simply insert the overhang and the Dutch gable is built. Now, interestingly, uh, Dutch gables may also be in the centre of a roof, and uh, in this case, it's asking how far back from the flashing line. Well, in that case, um, it's automatically calculated halfway from the flashing line to be that distance. But let's say we went down the roof by uh, 1500. So we're, we're actually, with a negative sign there, we're going away from the flashing line. So uh, we hit OK, and the correct geometry is built. Um, at any stage, you can uh, re review this in isometric view, and uh, by holding down the control key, uh, you can spin the uh, middle mouse button and control, and you can spin that around to uh, to to see what exactly is going on. Now, you, you can work in any view. Uh, in fact, you can quite uh, comfortably work in uh, in this view. And uh, if we spin that around to the other side, for example, and uh, let's say we wanted to put in what we call a, uh, a layback gable. So uh, layback gable on this ridge line, and, uh, and the pitch will be 45 degrees, and we hit that, and you can see what it's constructed. If we look at that in top view, uh, you'll see the rest of the roof is 27 and a half degrees. Uh, let's look at it from front. That might be more appropriate. There we go, 27 and a half degrees for the lower bit, and then 45 degrees up front. So, um, most features are, are quite straightforward and a single keystroke. Uh, a common one uh, is the um, is the dormer function. Uh, dormers can be added uh, along an eave. So, in this case, notice the little dot there. It's measuring from that dot uh, distance. Um, 
to the along the eave to the centre line of the ridge. Uh, let's use 17. 17.50 and the pitch will be the same as the rest of the roof and the setback from the eave well I'm going to use zero in this case uh, the width of it will be 2500 and side of overhang will be zero and the gable projection will be Let's make it about 500. So the advantage of the dormer function, it has a preview uh, op opportunity. So you can actually see what you get before you commit to inserting it. Now in this case I've built the dormer right on the eave. But it might be if I was to change the setback that it actually builds it and check what it's done. It's now built the dormer back up the roof. Let's put it further up the roof. And uh, at this point, the, consider these dimensions uh, in the context of the hole that it makes in the roof. So this actually has a gable overhang on it. Um, we could also now put a side eave overhang on the gable. And it builds a completely different looking uh, dormer. Practice these and refer to the manual. The dormer is an extraordinarily powerful function and allows you to do a whole bunch of different things. So unless you practice, you won't know what the options are. So in, this is the uh, what the geometry in this model calls for. So we'll hit insert on there, and the dormer is inserted. Now just going back over here for a minute. Let's say we, it's not on the drawing, but let's just pretend continue, and we'll put a dormer in here. Preview what we've already put. Okay. So the distance. Let's make that 3500, and uh, we'll have side over there. 300 and we'll set back from the eave uh, 950 and preview what we've got and insert that. So looking at that in isometric you'll see the various um, options and the geometry that's created. So the thing about mod uh, modify roof is that there are many many functions for doing all manner of things. Uh, it would take another video of another 30 minutes to go through all of them. Um, the best way is to um, to have a, a go at it. If it doesn't give you what you wanted, um, drop E. That's another one you might get quite frequently. Uh, let's drop the E down to 1200. So um, and that's quite a different look. So it's uh, where are we? Around the other side there. You see that's uh, what we call drop E. Now in the event of that um, sort of geometry, the typical thing might be that that extends to the wall. So we want to extend the barge by whatever the eave overhang was, and if I recall correctly, it was 450, and uh, it extends it in under the roof. So, um, as I was saying, these uh, many, many functions uh, are all available to you. Often you won't know what to do until you get to it. Um, if uh, it doesn't quite work out the way you hope, um, you have undo and redo. So you can undo and undo or redo and redo all the way back to the start of the session. So anytime you try something and it doesn't quite work out, don't panic, just hit the undo button and try something else. Most important with modify, read the prompts. The prompts tell you what to do. When all else fails, read the manual and uh, when that fails, get in touch with support. The modify roof functions are extraordinarily powerful and will permit you to do almost anything. There is no roof we can't model, it's just that some are more difficult than others. Thanks for your time.